first, buddy. Um, for you guys, uh, tell, talk about the other guys behind you and, and how things are going yeah, as running backs. Great. It's going pretty great. Um, you know, I'm starting to take a little less reps so that we can see who's going to step up and just really fill in the role. And the guys have been looking great. You know, they've been working hard and um, just keep getting better and building on every day. I've heard a lot. Coach Swinney's talked a lot about Keith over there and what he's done. Can you talk about what you've seen from him and, and how he's taking the next step? Yeah, Keith, you know, I've seen every year he's been here, he's just gotten better. And, you know, he just continues to grow and he wants to learn. And he's been applying it to practice, you know. Um, he's a tough runner. Uh, he, he's going to get his job done. And he's someone that really cares about the team. So he has great commitment. And, you know, that's someone that the team can really trust. How different has it been for you this year? Not having Will there, it's sort of you're the guy now. How different has that been for you? It was pretty different, um, but, you know, we still still doing the same thing, just trying to stay committed each and every day, build on one day after another. You know, now just my role is just to get the other guys um, up to speed, get them ready to go, and, you know, they've been doing a great job. I've just trying to been, I've been trying to step up, uh, be a better leader, and um, it seems to be paying off. What are some of the things you've learned from the last year to your senior season? Okay. What are some things you learned from Will heading up to this season? Uh, just how to work. You know, he's a grinder in every part of his life. You know, he taught me a lot of things, and um, you know, and work that work ethic. You know, we work hard together and we push each other. So, getting that experience with him allows me to share that with other people. You know, being able to push my teammates, um, being able to show them what the standard here at the <coughs> is. So I feel like um, ha me and Will having the relationship that we did allows me to have that with others. What's, what's one word to describe this running back room with yourself and the rest of the guys? I'll say hungry uh, because the guys are just hungry to do their job. Uh, they want to gain the trust of the whole offense and just show that we are able to you know, get our job done at a high rate and that we work hard. You know, We just try to keep it all simple and come in each and every day ready to work. What have you seen from freshman David's job? I've seen he's been doing really good, honestly. I mean, uh, he's learning, he's getting better. You can see he's transitioning from high school to college. He's basically still a high school uh, senior, so you know he has to still transition. But he's been showing great, great things out there on the field, and I believe he's going to be a great one, honestly, if he keeps working hard, grinding each and every day. And, you know, I trust in him. So, coach, we be soaking things up fast. Uh, yes, oh, for sure. Uh, the play calls, he's doing great, not having mess ups or mental errors. So I feel like he's coming up, coming away. Coach Sweeney said that there's he sees similarities between when you were his age and, and coming in. And do you see some of the similarities? Yes, I see some of that. Um, yeah, he's he's a big, strong guy, and you know I feel like we can be comparable for sure. Um, so I just try to keep. You know, giving him all the knowledge that I know so he could just keep on going and get way better. So. Does he come to you and ask for advice? Do you go to him? Yeah. What, what's that dynamic? Yeah, it's really both, like <clears throat> both of us. And um, we just feed off each other and are able to help each other any way we need. You know, if it's getting extra work or if you ask me about a play, what we're doing, I will just try to explain it to him. But, you know, it's a, it's a dual relationship. We both try to push each other. And that's for all the running backs in the room, honestly. For you personally, like what's been the biggest thing that you wanted to really lock down and get better at this spring? Uh, I would say just, I wouldn't say there's one thing. I would just say staying consistent and doing extra. You know, just staying after practice, getting a lift in, or um, catching footballs after practice, just trying to do that consistently. While also, you know, being in a training room, I don't have that much class uh, this semester since my last semester until I graduate, so I've just been trying to stay in the training room and just focus each and every day, do what I can so that uh, when the future comes, I don't regret not doing the most of, giving the most of my opportunity. What's the biggest takeaway from this scrimmage, scrimmage today? Uh, today, the offense looked really good, so um, of course, the defense is definitely going to come ready uh, Wednesday, so uh, my biggest message to the guys would be just to you know, keep your head on tight and um, just continue to build on today and don't let don't let today 
affect uh, how you play on Wednesday. You know, it's it's another game, and you got to come with the same mentality. Uh, what it takes, it always takes what it takes, and you got to come ready to go because we know that the guys on the other side will be ready. What was what were you most encouraged about the game on Wednesday? Um, we were just moving the ball, you know, when we got in bad situations, um, the quarterback stepped up, the quarterbacks were slinging it today, O-line had great protection, the backs had great protections, so, you know, everything just seemed to be working in our favor, and um, we finished, you know, that's one thing that we wanted to respond with, so we finished a lot of drives, and that was great to see. Was there anybody that stood out to you on the offensive side that you said, wow, he, he had a good scrimmage today? I'll say Bryant Wisco, you know, he's been doing great, been looking good this spring, and I can see, the, definitely see the potential on, in him, and um, if he keeps growing and getting better, I know he'll, he'll be a great one. Anything specific that you saw he did as a wow or whatever? Uh, today, it was a two-minute drive, and, and it was just a fade ball. And he just tipped the ball and then caught it with one hand, so that was awesome to see. It seems like everyone is uh, praising Westco uh, this spring. What is it about him that you've noticed that makes him stand out? Uh, first and foremost, I'll just say he's a consistent guy. He, he works. He's, he's not too cool to work. And um, he wants to get better. And uh, you can just tell that uh, he takes it seriously. And that's what it takes. Someone, you, you need to take it seriously in order to be great. So I can see that in him also. Here in the offensive line, uh, it's been great. I mean, it's been a lot of communication, you know, just getting in with Coach Luke and him explaining to us um, all his philosophy and us just uh, working together. You know, we've gotten tighter and um, just see a different, different type of intensity in the O-line. You know, Coach Luke's a great leader for them, a great leader for this offense. And I would say that we really feed off him and uh, what he tells us. What do you think distinguishes his philosophy that he's trying to sort of impart to you guys? Uh, I would say just how tenacious he is. You know, he always brings energy. And um, he brings that each and every practice, so that can do nothing to us but get us hype and ready. So um, he just brings that energy to this offense and helps us a lot with that. And um, the guys really feed off of it well, and um, it's been great. So anything technical, technically, philosophically? Um, I wouldn't say. I mean, for me, not personally, but I would definitely say for O line, he bet definitely um, probably told them different types of techniques, different types of things they could do to improve their game. Um, so I would say that. I guess to you it's just zone gap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to read them, you know. You know, anything they give me, I'll work with. So um, I think they've been doing a great job this spring and just building each and every day. Does Wisco remind you of anybody? Sheesh. Someone was saying, uh, it kind of reminds me of CD Lamb, honestly. I go by. Uh, I said, I feel like if he keeps getting better, he keeps putting the work in, he's going to definitely be good. And um, I just want to continue to encourage him to just facilitate that growth. Um, how many times have you had on the field a confrontation with Sammy? Brown and your thoughts on the on the young linebacker there? Um, on the field, not many, but you know we're in the weight room all the time together. You know he's a really strong guy. He lifts a lot. He works hard. So the future is definitely bright for him. Also, I'm excited to see um, how he steps in uh, this year and the years to come. How's he just from your perspective? I guess you're probably on the sidelines. Then how how do you see when you watch him play? What's what is he doing? Uh, he just looks locked in and um, he's fast to the ball. Um, he's strong. He can shut off blocks. Uh, he, you know, he just has all the tangibles that you need, and he's smart. So it allows him to take command of the defense, and I, I just see him getting better and better. How have you stepped into a leadership role with, um, so far in the spring? I would say being more vocal and just trying to get guys along, uh, doing the extra stuff um, that I'm trying to challenge myself with. So just getting, especially the running backs, you know, Challenging them to you know, catch balls with me after practice or uh, lift the weights after practice, just little stuff like that. You know, doing core after a workout together, just trying to build uh, each and every day and just get better. Was it a natural move for you to become like a more vocal leader, or did it take a little uh, bit? It took a little bit. I feel like it always takes something in order to because I've always been 
I really just chill, guy. I didn't really talk talk a lot, but I know I'm doing a disservice to this team, uh, knowing that I can speak up and be that leader that um, we need. Um, and I'm not doing it, so that's that's something I always knew I wanted to get better at ever since I came in as a freshman, also. So CJ was kind of like you when he played, kind of soft spoken and stuff like that. Has he kind of relayed that to you on on, on how he grew and? Has he shared some of that with you? Yeah, he just told me, um, don't be someone you're not. You know, if you're not a vocal guy, you don't got to be that. But you can definitely find different ways to lead. Um, it doesn't have to always be vocal. Just be an encourager to your team, you know, doing the extra, just stuff like that. You know, it goes a long way with people. It's also just being the example. You know, I try to be the best example um, for my teammates to follow. And um, I feel like that's one of the reasons why. Uh, they respect me. Okay, this is a running game to actually have an explosive, consistent downfield passer. Uh, it opens it up for sure, you know, when there's a deep threat or, you know, all these, all these cats at receiver that can make plays, you know, the defense is going to be focused on that. So that just opens up the run game and allows us to just be even better. How much did the lack of that hamstring y'all how much? How much did the lack of that a, a, an explosive downfield pass give sort of hands? Um, some games you would just see a loaded box, and you know that just hurts the running game. You know, there's not much you can do if you're outnumbered. Uh, so I would say that. What do you? What's your take on? Uh, I guess I'll call him Easy E since Coach Sweeney refers to him as that. Uh, he's been looking great, honestly. I mean, you could tell that he's a hard worker. He wants to get better. And um, he just keeps building and getting better. And I can see the potential in him. If he keeps working get, and keeps getting better, you know, he'll definitely be a great, a great running back here at Clemson.